How's it going, folks? Join me on the allotment today for a quick, quick rundown, quick update. So, um, this box is looking fantastic. This is a box that I just knocked up with some wood that I find found just lying around the the allotments, and I just knocked it together. I had several pots that I wanted to take the contents out and just put it all together, and um. This is the result. I potted up a lot of leftover stuff and I also added a lot of stuff into it. Like these guys. These are fantastic. I think these are really lovely. These are the Fritillaria. Snake's Head Fritillaria. And they're just gorgeous. They're fantastic. I really like them. It's kind of like um, The petals are almost like a checkerboard. Fantastic. These big fat soppy tulips they look brilliant and then we have some orange and yellow mottled tulips and down underneath hiding under the foliage we have the muscari grape hyacinth some violas some pansies hiding in the bottom these guys are fantastic it's a really dainty tulip a really narrow little dainty tulip but when you plant them in a big, a load of them, I want to say it makes a lovely, a lovely impression. So that's, um, this is just in front of the shed, giving a bit of colour. The only colour really at the element at the moment. Some, uh, some red ones down here and a couple of red anemones. Um, this pot here is three giant tree lilies. And, um, these guys are fantastic. I mean, after two or three years, these guys can get up to six seven eight foot tall no problem even ten feet fantastic giant tree lilies right so let's have a quick run down of the allotment um i've been getting a good bit done it's a little bit different to the last time anyone would have seen it so um let's have a look around so what have we got the first bed rhubarb a heap of rhubarb that was actually taken from an allotment neighbor that moved out and frugal as we are, us gardeners, I said I'm not going to leave that rhubarb and a few other things, I'll, I'll have that. So next to the rhubarb, I'm going to be putting beans, climbing beans. Um, what have we got? We've got borlotti beans, we have runner beans, we have climbing French beans. A few different varieties of each in different colours and they're going to be on a few in here and I'll dot a few more around the place. This next big bed is... Um, I did actually measure it out now I've forgotten but it's quite a big bed and it's filled with potatoes so that's all my potatoes for the years in this bed and it's the very last edge is um, shallots so I have um, four or five different varieties there's a uh, Sarpo Mira there is Golden Wonder there is Cares Pink um, Maris Piper Sarpo Blue Danube um Aaron Victory. Aaron Victory is actually one that I was really looking forward to to trying this year. I heard great stuff about it. So um this bit of a bed here, just a few la leftover red onions or yeah, red onions I put in there, red barren I think. This smaller bed up here in front of the small hair bed is the new potatoes. So I think there was two or three different varieties of new potatoes there's swift and do 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 rock no let me think it's not rock it's swift and uh i've forgotten oh, look at the old label why not sharps express good old well loved variety so there's um there's four ten foot rows there of early potatoes oh look Straggler celery from last year. Um, this is going to be a spot for corn. Two or three different varieties of corn this year as well. The garlic looks great. The garlic is really coming along. Yeah, the very ends of the leaves and the tips got a bit yellow, but I'm pretty sure that was down to that horrible cold weather that we had this year. Yeah, it's the second bed of garlic. Isn't it blatantly obvious which one is the um, the elephant garlic? There's run of the mill garlic in front of you and then the last row is the elephant stuff. There's a bit of a gap actually in there as well. I think I'll get some salad or some rocket or something in there. 
Here we have the white onions. Um, done those the other day. There's about 120 or something in there. Um, that's that. After that is the space where we're going to be putting more corn. And then we still have to clear more ground. Peas is going to be going over there. And I have to materialize a load of space and figure out where I'm going to put squash, courgettes, pumpkins, and that type of stuff. All this grass, I'm sure, is going to get cleared and I'll, I'll have to make a bed. Anyway, onwards and upwards. We're getting there slowly but surely. Yeah.